Hello everyone, I'm Deflesh3004. I want to welcome you to Creativerse, the next chapter. This is a post on Steam on October 18th, right here. Tuesday, October 18th, they kind of came out with an update and they said that basically big changes are coming to Creativerse. The short version next month, we're moving away from a free to play. It's free to play now, but it's moving away from that. A free to play playful hosted model to a pay once player hosted version of Creativerse. This will allow us to give you all a more customizable game that you have much more control over and it'll free up hosting costs that we can put toward future development. And if you spent any money on the game, you will get this new version for free. It is free right now, but if you want to get the next version, if you spend any money, and I'll go over that here in a little bit on it, then you will get the, the next version for free. It is, as you can see, a voxel game. It has Minecraft vibes, but it's not really like Minecraft in many different ways. And if you see my videos way early on in the beginning of my channel, then you kind of have an idea of what this game is like. If not, you'll check them out. I'll try to remember to link the playlist so you can check out Creativerse and see what it, what it is like. You may be interested in it. What they are going to do is there's not been an update for over a year here because they have been focusing a lot of stuff on running costs for the servers and basically all of this whole read I'll try to put this in the description too if you wanted to check it out it's a little bit of a long read so they a big chunk of the game's budget goes toward live ops what if instead we use that budget solely for development costs? I want to take a moment to acknowledge that we haven't been able to support Creativerse as much as we would have liked over the past few years. There have been times when y'all be waiting for months or longer for an update. Our last update was over a year ago. I wish this weren't the case, but writing out the pandemic and some big changes in the studio kept us from being able to focus on Creativerse the way it we would have preferred. That is why starting last year we began working on a new version of the game. Now in four weeks we will re-release Creativerse as a pay once play for every game. It will run as a complete executable on your local PC with the client server and data all in one package and all the free to play elements removed. The store, coins, all of that kind of stuff. They're going to call it the Creativerse def the Definitive Edition. So, um, they haven't had an update for over a year because they just had stuff going on. They have been playing to keep the paying out of their own pocket to keep the servers up running 24 hours a day, seven days a week for years. You buy the game if you want to, if not, it's free to play. And I think they just realized it's getting very expensive and they just decided that they need to do something different. So, um, giving up the built-in multiplayer is a big sacrifice but not having the cost and hassle of running it as a games as a service will give us and you and me way more flexibility like when the entire game runs on your machine we don't have to worry about free to play can we make nearly everything we can make nearly everything customizable want a world with infinite stamina or a one second timer or whatever you want you can do all kinds of stuff a one second timer and all processed materials so things will automatically just bam 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 come out super fast you can set it up for that and all kinds of different things one hit kills on all mobs and holiday events turn on year round which would be you know pretty cool done one under the hood options for managing your server, its players and backups, you got it. In fact, if this pivot proves successful, we could add support for even wider stuff like mods. So they may be adding mod support if it does work. The definitive edition launches on November 15th. Here's what you need to know. It will retail for $24.99. However, anybody who has spent any money on the game in the past, whether DLC coins getting coins in the game or from early access they will get it for free i will get it for free my friends will get it for free because we bought the game we bought the deluxe edition it comes with a thing that you can fly with a i forget what it's called the like wings that come off your back you get a flashlight bigger inventory all kinds of stuff 
it was like $20. I mean, heck, $20 really isn't much when you look at all the things that you get that you have to spend a lot more in to get in the in the game if you do, you know, through the store and all that. Anyway, we can get it for free if we spent any money on it. So, any money at all. If you haven't spent money on the game as of today, so up until the relaunch at, on November 15th, the, if you haven't spent any money on the game, you will ha have until the relaunch to purchase a now discounted Pro DLC that includes it. This is $10 cheaper than it would be after November 15th. So it's like $15. $14.99. So do keep that in mind. If you wanted to get it, it's I think it's worth it. You have bigger inventory, flashlight. You don't have to put torches everywhere in the dark spaces. It's really good. Uh, you will be able to download or migrate your own worlds from our servers for 90 days following the re-release. So if, if you have your own worlds, you can migrate it to your own PC or whatever and your own data files or whatever. And then you can do that and you can also have somebody else migrate it if they wanted to. The new version will include a ton of new customizable options, tools for hosting your own multiplayer worlds, tools for mo hosting your multiplayer worlds, new and improved, improved player progression path with streamlined unlocks, recipes, quests, and premium consumables like qubits and costumes added to core gameplay rewards more than 30 300 new blocks and items new bob variants a mailbox item for sending messages to other players in your world improved admin tools for managing worlds visual improvements and more we'll be sharing more details in the next few weeks in the meantime be sure you feedback with us here on Discord. So the name of the company is Playful that made it, and they are just making some changes. They outline all of that stuff here in this big, long read. I'm not going to read it right now. What I'd like to do is get into the game a little bit. I'm just going to do a character that I already have that we want to go over all the setup and all that stuff so you can at least see if you have never seen this game. Let me go and get to that, and we'll do a little bit of looking around. In my original videos that I did on this game, I talked about how the game is online only. You have to have an internet connection to play the game. So if you go to somebody else's house that does not have internet or you're out of town and you're going to a place that there is nothing, you know, no internet, Wi-Fi or anything, you're not going to be able to play the game at all. And that's going to not be very good if you really wanted to play the game so with this new one coming out they made it to where the game can be played offline which is good because I've often wanted to play it when I go out to visit my parents who don't have internet because they live in a really small town and you, they can get internet but it's very expensive and it's just really not worth it and it's really slow and all of that stuff all of that aside they are making it to where it's going to be offline. So if you wanted to play and you don't really, you know, have internet or good internet, you can play it now without much of a problem. So as you can see, it is Minecrafty. It has blocks. It is all terrain. You can jump two blocks high, and that's interesting. And if you are running along and you press G, you have your glider, and this is what I was trying to talk about. I can't remember what it was called, but this is the glider, and this is the thing that you can get when you buy the game at, like, the $14.99. You can fly around, and you can crash, crash to the ground, obviously. And one of the nice things, too, is, I believe it's C. Nope, it ain't C. E, okay, there we go. This is all stuff, all the chests that I've gotten in recent time. I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff packs and everything else over the course of time. They give away free chests all, every day. You can get two free chests. You have to wait four hours, get another f set of chests. And all these chests contain the thing that things that you see there. So you have all of these. And I have a lot of stuff in here. These are extractors to get ore. This is stuff that you get from when you get the honey, which is in the trees. That's flowers, but the honey is, of course, yellow. It looks like honeycomb. And it has a huge inventory. It's like 40. There's 60 slots. I think there's 40 normally, so you get like 20 extra slots, which doesn't sound like much. 
but when you get full of things right away, it really does make a huge difference. And one of the nice things, too, is if you go down to a dark place, let me see, what is, flashlight is L, so you can press your flashlight button. Hey, Leafy. And you can just go down in darker areas and you don't have to worry about setting up torches because everywhere you go as you can see it's really dark if you don't have torches it is pitch black down here so you do want to make sure that you put down torches or you use your flashlight and it is a really interesting game i do enjoy it i think it's pretty fascinating um tab does the sword so if you want to get in on some fighting action, you can do that. Finding my way out of here is going to be real fun. There we go. And then if you press tab again, you go back to your... Just your hand to do things, to pull things. And the glove that you're seeing right here, if I go to this guy, and I location is obstructed by an entity. If I you right, if I... Uh, left click I can bump that guy he doesn't really get bothered at all by it just kind of push him around some and you can push a lot of things around like this all the different creatures and if you right click there we go Ta -da! and then you can get these guys now these guys the ones that I just got they will go away in the light and once it's dark, they start coming out and they glow. And they're kind of ghosts, I guess you could call them. And you, if you want to get stuff like this right here with this tree, you want to left click and you will pull it out with the glove that you have. There are different levels of gloves. There are many different levels. Here's an obsidian. They're called mining cells. There's obsidian one here. This is an iron one. The obsidian one is better. It goes all the way down to diamond and I think. I, uh, gold, uh, there's all kinds of stuff down. I don't know what the highest level one is. I wanted to say, I don't remember. So it looks like Lumite. Lumite is the highest one. And it will pull anything. So you got to have different level ones to pull different things. The stone mining cell does basic stuff. Obsidian better, iron better, diamond better. And Lumite is a top cell that will pull anything. And they do wear out over time, except the base one that you start with. So if I were to go to here, and I take this guy off, I still have one. It's just a basic one, and it will not pull. Like if I were to go back down into this little hole, whoa, I forgot that was on my bar. You can put things down really easy if you have things highlighted. You can eat food, and it'll give you health, and there's all kinds of things. So if I wanted to try to pull some deep stuff, like, is down here somewhere, uh, let's... Let me see if I can find something a little deeper than just this. Okay, how am I going to get down there? I'm going to use this, and we're just going to make our way down there. There's some coal down there. That's cool. That'll work. Let me show you. With just this basic glove, we cannot get stuff that is farther down. Like this stuff right here. See how it turns red? We cannot pull that because we need a stone mining cell. We need a stone mining cell. For this, we can. And it'll just, you know, continue like that through the game as you go further and further down. So that's something that I do find interesting is this game has a lot to offer it is a great game i don't play it as much as i did i played it quite a while and then i just kind of quit playing it for a while and now i'm showing you how to play this game you can pull up anything you want with the mushrooms with the, mu with the mushrooms with the mining cell that you have this is the base one and i believe you can pull up water now with it too those are uh carrot fish and you used to not be able to pull up water until you got a better mining cell but they did change that sometime in the past and if you want to find out where your base is if you put down your base you can see that square right at the very top of the compass that is where my home is and you put down this little thing 
right here. This is your teleporter, your touchstone settings. And you can just go ahead and uh, put that down and it'll always tell you where your base is. So even if you're a long ways away, it'll sh tell where your base is. You can cook up stuff in the oven here. I do believe that is the oven. That is the oven. And this is a processor which cuts stuff. So if you go to here and you wanted to make, let's say, stone slabs. You put stuff in there, and let's go and do two stone slabs and eight stone rods. That's what it will do. And then if you want, you can exit that stuff out, and it will take it out and put it right back in your inventory. This is a forge, which takes all of the raw stuff, like the iron and diamond and everything else, and turns it into ingots. And then, of course, I have two processors, so I can slice stuff up really fast. Of course, you have your chest, and I believe you can make larger chests, too. Uh, arcane chests, I want to say. Arc chest, something like that. I don't remember. Um, let's go to E and craft. I know there's a button to press. I just can't remember what it is. Uh, underneath here you can see all the things that we can make anything that's lit up we can make and anything that is not we have to get something or we have to open it up and figure out how to make it since i have done a lot in the in the game i have opened up so many things you will not if you've never played this game you will have to open up little things like this every now and then it's, a lot of these are like Christmas decorations or Halloween, Easter, they do all the major events for, you know, the year. And this is basically what Creative Verse is. It's an open world. The map is pretty massive, as you can see. And we are here in this sector right here. And if you want to go in, I'm trying to remember, let me see. This goes in. This is the world. You can see how much I have explored. Not exactly a lot. That's just one, one little part of the map. This is the whole map overall. And this is just the area that I have explored in this little tiny section right here. So this whole map still needs to be uncovered, and there's a whopping lot to uncover. And there's lots of dangerosity. There's bad things that are really dangerous, deep places, dark places. Everything has a rhyme. It is a crazy game, but I really, really like it. It's pretty awesome. It's funny. And... This is, I do believe, my pet. So he wants some food, and they tell you you can tame them. If I use, keep on pressing the wrong buttons. This right here, mm. keep on forgetting. I can put this. Can I put that there? I have to put it on one of these. Can I put that there? Yes, I can. Okay, now I can do this. And if you wanted to see, I'm going to show you real quick. So if you want to tame something. You have your little bell and that bar tells you how far up it is to be tamed and now I just tamed another piggy now I am going to press F he is going to follow me and we're gonna go back over here some things will take longer than others some things will hurt you really really bad as you know you can Pretty much guess again you have two jumps that you can make high and that's pretty awesome then once you get wherever it is you can have him stay or he can wander around and then you can cook food you can make cookers all kinds of interesting things you can farm and everything else let's go to here so normally you want to set up places like this I was hiding for the night in here but basically this is what I did. I just dug out a place to be safe and you normally want to put up torches and stuff. These are the low level torches. There are coal torches and I think those are the best torches in the game if I remember right. But yeah, it's been a long time since I have played. I just wanted to bring this to your attention so that way if you are interested in the game it is $14.99 until November 15th when it will go to $24.99. And it will not be free to play after November 15th. Do keep that in mind if you're interested in the game. It's a great game to play. It's not very much. And huge world. 
real open world. There are things like you see those cactus over there. There are some um, very dangerous creatures over there. At one point in time, you could be in the water and be safe, but they have since removed that. And I do believe you can go deep in the water too and get some real serious trouble if you're not careful. You can do many, many things. Heck is that? That's stone. It says right above the red and yellow bars what everything is, so you can really see what everything is. Now, this could be a very dangerous area very quickly if you're not careful. I don't believe that the cactus hurts you, but it can. Those things right there, those are dust evils. And They will hurt you really badly, really quickly if you're not careful. They try to throw you up in the air. And then once you get them, you get dust, evil hit, dust, bone, and fossils. Um, these are some of the easier things. There are big guys that'll knock you silly. There's another dust evil over there. You can take apart the cactuses. You can mine anything and everything in here these guys right here these guys are blizzard chizzards let me go ahead and eat a mushroom it's gonna bring up my health some i gotta wait for a few seconds for it to go to not be functioning anymore you can see the timer on number five right there that is counting down and I have to wait for that to be all the way down before I can eat another one. Unless I have something on, like, that bar, then I can eat that one, too. And that will help. So you have two different timers for each thing. Let me go get my health up. And I'm going to go see if I can get a blizzard chizzard. And the little thing on the right-hand side next to the bell, that is telling me how cold I am getting. And it will eventually fill up and you will freeze or you'll roast, depending if you're in hot areas or cold areas. So do kind of keep that stuff in mind if you do happen to get this and you do happen to play it. It is a lot of fun. I did play a heck of a lot of it for quite a while, me and my friends, and sometimes just play for fun. You can see the little blue triangle on the right-hand side, just uh, right next to the yellow. That means that I'm starting to get cold and if I want to not be cold I need to get out of here but right now what I want to do is every time that you do that it starts up again every time that they hit you it starts up again so you have to keep it on them and keep it taming as long as you can he hurt me really bad, and he was... He sounded like chickens. And he was really just fighting me to not be tamed, pretty much. There is a flower on there that I can get. Cactus flower, cactus. You can wreath, put these right back down if you want to. We can plant some grass right there if we want to. We can plant a cactus. Okay, that's a big guy. Yep, right there. That's a be a, like a trog or something like that, if I remember right. I don't remember for sure, but I think that's what that guy is called. And actually, there's health potions right there. Let's pop one of those. Hey, trogy trog. He's in there. He went down here. It's a little troggy dude. So I believe they're called trogs if I remember correctly, but it's been a long time. He's going to be coming up here. I want to stay out of his way. I don't believe he can get back up here. Unless he has a secret way in and secret way out, which there's every possibility. He's very, very dangerous. There's another dust evil right there. Ouch! Used to be able to get out of the water 
or they used to be safe in the water, but you know, they always have to make it hard, don't they? Running away, running away, running away. He's still after me, man. Those guys, they have pretty big aggro, don't they? Pretty long aggro. He's still coming after me. Can you believe that? Okay, he finally went down. Yeah, they'll chase you for a good little bit. There's so much more to show. I can't do it in like even a half an hour. There's just way too much to show here. It is a heck of a game, like I keep saying, and it is actually a lot of fun. So, I think I'm probably going to end this, get back home. Oh, we got our other cell. Let me go ahead and put on my good cell, wherever that one is. The iron one is the best one that I have for right now. So that way I can get some really good stuff besides stone, mud, and dirt. I can get many other things. We should be getting right close to our place here. I'm going to switch to another world so that you can see some of the building aspects. All right, so I want to show you some of the building aspects, like I said, and here I have a whole bunch of the tamed creatures. These are like the nighttime ones that I was talking about, and these are the chizzards, these are the night chizzards, and these are the blizzard chizzards, and these are the corrupted chizzards, and these are a bunch of the other pigs that we can find. These are in the savannah. And these are Myrus, which are down underneath, and you have Ice Myrus, Arctic Myrus, and all kinds of stuff. Hotfoots, which are interesting creatures. They can't move. Let me see. Are these ones are the ones that can't move? These guys can hop around, and there's some other ones that cannot, so they cannot be moved anywhere. And, of course, Shrewd Shrew is this guy right here. I don't know if I can crouch down. It doesn't look like it. And of course, I mentioned those big guys. These are them, the trogs. And yes, I was correct. They are called trogs. I just couldn't remember. These are all the things I have tamed. And I just wanted to give you a quick show of this, just so you can see. Now, back here, you see I have glass, so I can see in there. And I can go in here. And this is my garden area. This is where I have a bunch of stuff planted. And you have to put, like, a ton of torches to keep the light at bay at night and stuff and all of that of course you have the water and then you can plow all of this so it is like minecraft you can have spots of water and then have all of this land tilled and i don't know if it is true like minecraft when you jump on it that it turns back to normal land or not i don't remember it's been too long since i played so this is my little garden area. I find it pretty interesting. I built a little ramp so I can get up in there easier without a lot of problem. There's a rockster crab thing walking around here and some little pebbles. Then in here I have my house. You can see the frame and stuff I've done. I put wood pillars all the way up on all four sides and then I use this bedrock to go all the way up one layer on each side. I'm going to go inside and show you real quick. I have a bunch of chests in here and stuff, the cookers and everything else. These are the architect chests, so they hold quite a bit more. They are 24 slots, and I believe these are like 16. Yes, yeah, 16. This is some of the food that we can feed these guys. Corrupted sandwiches and soup and everything. We can feed them all kinds of stuff and then we have to wash them off. This guy just got washed off so he's all shiny. And you use a sprayer. Oops. Let me see if I can find the sprayer real quick. I don't know if I have it on my person or not doesn't look like it right now i probably put it in a chest somewhere and right here is the lumite sword and this thing is a pretty amazing it takes things out pretty easy it's a pretty awesome sword and you can build stairways my house is just real tiny so i haven't got any stairways in these are teleporters which would take you to other places and you have to basically make the codes the same so a code for one has to be a code for the other one 
so in here this code is like this so this goes to a certain place and this comes back home and every code is different and it'll take you to certain places let me go ahead and I don't know I don't remember how to teleport it says F but I'm not teleporting very well oh that yeah that's right you gotta walk into it so we just went to another area and this is where I've been mining a long time ago this is before I got the flashlight so you can see what it looks like with all just lights on and everything this is before I bought the game I was doing a lot of all of this and just mining all of this out and making a nice little place here and then when I go home click on it you go back home this is ginormous cavernous that was deep in the ground so this is that ginormous cavernous and this is the things that I was telling you about the coal or obsidian things that we can get we have to use miners on them it says coal node right above the yellow line and this is obsidian nodes and you can mine those out and I don't know if I have any of those extractors on me and we'll use a regular extractor and we'll just put one right on there and how about the cold instead so you right click on it and it'll begin whittling that down and you will get the coal or whatever it is you put on it these blocks you just have to pull up with your mining cell and i believe i have the lumite mining cell obsidian mining cell okay i know no i have an of lumite one somewhere so that is this no or this area now let's go ahead and go back up top or oh, go up top i guess it is you can just go up to them and start going forward and you will climb up the stairs or ladders or whatever over the mountain and born on the bayou these are all code words of course for places that they go to and this one is welcome to the jungle which goes to the jungle i knew no after songs obviously and these are all teleporters that go to those different places along with some windows i can see down and the glass that you can see through and look around and stuff and yeah this is some of the building things you can do my friends have built some pretty awesome places as i've said before i build squares that's what i do so i just wanted to show you some of this game and some of the building and all of the creatures that you can tame I think there's still a few more that you can tame, but I don't know if I have them or not. I just don't know. I don't remember. It's been too long ago. Now, in this world, I have a whole bunch of it uncovered, like that much. It's quite a lot in all actuality when you start getting right around to it, but there's so much more to uncover. Well, I hope you enjoy this little tour of Creativerse. Hopefully, you will be interested in the game and you can go get it too. I really think it's worth it. It's a blast of a game. And I just wanted to give you a demonstration on the things that you can do. You saw me tame the pig and the same things are with these that you do. You just use it and you hope you don't die when you're trying to tame them. And then once you're tamed, you make them follow you home and everything is all good have i touched on right there in the middle so you have a great day thank you for watching and drop a like on the video and we will talk to you next time you have a great day bye bye